Hi everyone, it's Agnes and I've got a relationship success story today. It's from Madonna. Now it goes like this. Hi Agnes, thank you so much. You have changed my life. I started to follow you four years ago when my boyfriend of 10 years decided to break up due to religious differences. I was heartbroken at the time, of course, and I wanted to have a way to get him back. But I decided to focus on your self-love meditations and forget about him because thinking of him was mentally exhausting. Three months after the breakup, I met someone else. We clicked. The next idea in my head, I wanted to manifest my engagement with the new person. I wanted to prove to myself Neville Goddard was the real deal. I decided before bed I would visualize the celebrity ring I wanted on my finger and feel as if I was married already. The celebrity style I had chosen seemed impossible for me because of the size of the diamonds. Per Neville, everything is possible, so I went for it. I was finally proposed with the exact same ring I visualized every night on the 21st of March 2020, the same one. I am still shocked. The way I was proposed was exactly the way I wrote it down. This stuff really works. Now, she sent me a beautiful photo of the ring and a beautiful photo of the proposal. It looks like someone else was there and uh, they captured a photo. So that's beautiful. Now, I said, because there was not enough detail in that story and I knew you guys would want to know a bit more. So I said, wow, fantastic. Madonna, do you want to expand on your story if you had a daily routine, what you did when you did it? How you decided to let go of your other guy? Was that a natural thing as you worked on your self-love? And once you send it to me, I will read it with all the extra bits you, if you have time. So then do you want to do an interview? I think it would be great to hear that SP number one isn't always the answer. Sometimes a brand new relationship can be so much better. So many are um, fixated on one person being their love and that can sometimes not be the only way to go. So happy for you, dear Madonna, a happy ending, which is wonderful to hear. So she wrote back. Now this is an old <laughs> email chain. This goes back to June, but it's taken a while to go to and fro. So Madonna replies, I have finally had the time to reply. I have been busy at work. How did it happen? In May 2018, I broke up with my boyfriend of 10 years and we'd met at college. He was Muslim and I was Catholic. We went to medical school and a medical residency training. The plan for us was to get married once we finished school. And in May 2018, he decided it was time for me to meet his family, plan an engagement and convert. I had a problem with this because I, it was very one-sided towards he, what he wants and I felt my needs were not being met. In the end, he broke up with me because I didn't want to convert. I was heartbroken. I felt I'd wasted so much time in the relationship and I felt it was my fault. I wanted him back. I went online on how to get an ex back and I came across your YouTube page. I decided to give it a try and initially I started with the whispering technique, rubbing out technique to move his parents out of the way, but it was mentally exhausting and I was thinking about him throughout the day and on top of that, meditating in getting him back. Oh Lord, hell on earth. So I decided to forget the relationship for peace of mind and focus on myself. My game plan was only your self-love meditations in the morning to heal from the breakup. I had felt so crappy. I would do self-love in the me self-love meditation for 15 to 30 minutes and I would also go to the gym in the afternoon, but that is my usual routine since I was young. Around July 2018, I became friends with a few people at the gym and we would go out. Through these friends, I met my current fiance in July 2018. Initially, we started out as friends. The only thing I did was self-love meditations in the morning. A year into the relationship, I decided I wanted to be married. That's about the time I got interested in Neville. I came across a technique that I can do before bed. I visualized the ring and I also decided to be very specific on the carrot and design of my ring. I did it for about a year. I'd visualize for about a month and let go and then I'd do it again for a couple of weeks. I would also do an affirmation saying that I am married. 
I also wrote down exactly how I wanted my engagement to be. I live in Chicago and in my head I wanted to be proposed on a street called Michigan Avenue. But the problem with that was I wanted to, to be low key and personal and Michigan Avenue is a very busy street with stores and foot traffic. I just left it to the universe to fix that situation. On March 2020, my fiance in Michigan State on the beach, he proposed. My desire did come true and I was proposed in Michigan, but in a very quiet, romantic place. The ring is exactly how I visualized. The ring designed I visualized was something very unique and impossible and it happened. Routine. One, self-love meditations. Two, visualizing at night. Have to be specific. Affirmations. Only one affirmation that I am married, letting it go because it becomes mentally exhausting. To change the routine for fun, I wrote down how I wanted to be proposed and I only did it once. I think the self-love is the most important and nightly routine of visualizing. Currently, I'm still doing self-love meditations for about 15 minutes a day, affirmations on my desires, maybe when I go on a walk in the morning, and I'm glad to do an interview. <laughs> I'm much happier because I am with the person who I connect with more. Sincerely, Madonna. Beautiful. Thank you, Madonna. That's a lovely, lovely story. We did finally get there through our back and forth with our emails. So for those of you that you want a brand new relationship, this is a good success story for you. For those of you that still want a specific person, that's totally fine too. There is no right or wrong way. There are just different ways. And in this case, it evolved very well for her in a totally different way to what she expected. So fabulous, Madonna, and your imaginal scenes and simplicity of your affirmation, I am married, is beautiful. Lots of love, everyone. And I will put down below the Relationship Success Stories playlist, the specific person, x -back success stories playlist and also there is someone that I have contact with on a regular basis has alerted me to a fabulous Ho'oponopono meditation that she has been using so thank you Phoenix I am putting that down below for those of you that want something a little bit different if you're a bit bored with your current Ho'oponopono meditations or you would like to try a new one I'll put the link down below for you Lots of love and as always, see you in the next YouTube.